Hello guys, RCG here. Welcome back to our Cubic Studio modeling tutorial for Minecraft. This time I'm going to go over all the buttons that are right here on the screen uh, that you can see right whenever you start up Cubic. So I've opened up my little house here again just for demonstration purpose purposes. Um, and let's dive straight into this, I guess. So we have the element right here. The element is going to spawn on the blueprint right here. So the blueprint is basically a little cube that you can modify in size. You can actually see it in the, 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 the preview here. Um, it's this little cube and you can increase it in size and uh, things like that. And um, that's basically how your first cube is going to spawn. So if I make this a little bit bigger, uh, like so, click it and then you can see that that's how the cube is. But if I make it small again, then you can see that that is the size of the cube. Um, so yeah, you can actually move that uh, thing as well, so it's right here, and then you have things closer to you, if that is what you like. Uh, I normally just keep it wherever it is. Uh, next, uh, you can also make some planes on the uh, X, Y, and Z axis. Um, basically, let's head back there to the little blueprint right again. And if I now create one of those, you can see that it only covers like the side of one, but it's even invisible from the other side. It's it's um, maximum fin. No, <laughs> that's basically what it is. So you can create those on all sides uh, with these buttons right here. But I recommend just making a cube because you, because you can actually make it that small. There you go. So that way you can still move it again and then make it small whenever you like. Uh, that's basically how that works. Uh, next we have the model settings. I did those last episode, so if you want to see more about that, check out episode 6. Um, next we have the origin, and this will reset the origin. Uh, or reset, I'm not really sure if it resets. Let's actually click it. Nope, it will select the origin. So this is basically the origin of the model. Let's say you made your model here, um, but you know that you see that this house is not really centered. Well, you can move your origin and then your model is centered. That's basically all it does. Nothing more, nothing less. So let's move that back. Nothing to worry about. Um, so those are very basic, and the coming five are also very basic. And those are going to be covered in separate episodes, or I have already covered in separate episodes. Uh, element is basically everything that has to do with elements you can find here. As I said, if I cover those in separate uh, um, separate episodes. Next, we have voxels. I'm going to cover voxels. They are pretty cool. Um, so yeah. <laughs> uh, coming up, there's all the settings for that. those. Meshes, same thing. Paint, same thing. And preview um, is basically how Minecraft previews your uh, model. Um, so you can currently see that this is the right hand. Um, you can see this is how it gets uh, displayed in my hand. But yeah, going to go over those later, as I said. Uh, next, let's actually head back to our model right here, we have the selection sa uh, tab. So let's select the base because it's easy to see. Let's zoom in so you can all see on the small screens that you're using. Uh, there you go. And it's nicely hi highlighted by red. Uh, you can show hide. And basically what that does is it hides it from both the preview and from the editor. Uh, so yeah, now you can't see it. Um, could be very useful if you're using a lot of things and you want to see if it looks good without or uh, if it's just in the way of something else that you want to reach. Let's say you have something underneath this one, uh, basically somewhere right here, uh, and you want to touch that just, whoops, uh, just click this, show hide, gone. Uh, the thing is you can't really touch that. I'm going to cover how to get this bone back later. Uh, next, let's actually go over uh, the lock unlock and I'll actually open the elements section here. Um, just to make um, you aware of how what this does. So um, you can actually see here that it's invisible now but because there's a little light bulb uh, around it. Um, and you, what you can do is you can lock and unlock that one. You can't probably do it, uh, you can't do the one that's invisible, but you can lock this one. You can see that there's a little um, lock over it. And if I now try to move it, I can't. I, I, I'm trying all I can. Oh, and now I'm selecting a different one. Uh, let's select this one again. I can't move that one. Doesn't really work. Um, uh, but I can unlock it again by just pressing the lock unlock one. What you can also do is you can uh, focus lock. So, so let's actually select this one right here and do focus lock. You can see that it doesn't really do anything. But when I now press lock unlock, you'll see that it unlocks uh, or locks everything. And if I now press lock unlock, that's a bit of a repetitive word here. Um, then you can see that that's the only one that is unlocked. So you, that's the way you can only... Uh, lock the other one. So you, the only way you can only move the one thing that you want to. Uh, sad thing is you have to unlock everything manually or press one of those later if you have been looking ahead. Uh, next is the reset and I'm using the roof for this one. If you've been moving the uh, the origin which is this little green dot with the or the dot with the arrows on it, uh, you can actually move that one. I'm not sure how but you can. Um, if you press reset it will reset the place of that one to its original place. 
and also reset the rotation. So you see that my roof here is a little bit slanted. I, uh, I, I did the rotation. If I press this, it's now right up. Uh, I'm going to actually undo that one because I want to keep it, but you can uh, press the reset here. There's a little anchor uh, that is next to the reset here, and that's basically what that one does. You can also delete it, and now it's gone, and I hope I can get this one back. I, I think I've screwed. <laughs> I'm not sure if I can get... Yes, I can get one that one back, but for some reason, uh, Control plus Z doesn't do that, but um, apparently uh, pressing it manually does. Uh, moving on, there's a recover here, and <laughs> actually very useful. Uh, recover is, is, as I said, it's for some. If you lost something, if you did something wrong, you can press this. So show all. Hey, there's our main base again. So basically shows everything. Everything that is now uh, that is hidden, that has a little light bulb, uh, is now hidden. And you can actually see that you can lock and uh, hide things, but it doesn't really show here. Um, that would be actually be very good. So let's do a focus lock on this one. You can see that everything is now locked. I can unlock all and they all get unlocked. Very easy, very quick. Uh, next is the blueprint. Let's say you had this blueprint here that I talked about later. You made it a little bit bigger and you can make some elements, uh, whichever you want. You can just press blueprint right here and it will reset it to wherever it was originally. So that's right there. Um, very, very useful. Views, you can actually see that my uh, workspace here has messed up a little bit. This one is a little bit off-centered, a little bit smaller. Uh, this is not on the original size. If I press this, there you go. Everything nice. This is actually what I used before my videos because it looks a lot cleaner than the other one. So if you're making videos on Cubic, there you go. Um, and the other one is Elements and it actually is incomplete. If you go to Edit, um, or Edit, it's somewhere here. Um, yeah, here, recover, and then there's get, ba uh, get back for elements. So that's actually what it should say. Uh, so let's zoom out on this one. Create a new element, it's right here, and let's actually put it outside. So we can not uh, we can only work between those nine squares, let's say. Um, so if you have something like here, uh, right there, you can press elements, and it resets it. The only thing is it does <laughs> do the, um, how would you call this, uh, location? This has origin. Uh, it does place the origin very r strangely. Um, so if you want to fix that, then press the reset here. And that works. And now you have your element back. So basically, if something messed up, um, because elements, if they're even partially outside of here, they're not going to render or not going to render properly. Um, so that it will mess up your model. A little bit sad. So press that one if you uh, notice that and don't want to do anything manually. It will place them uh, very f uh, nearly to near to this side here. Um, that's basically everything that is to cover here. I hope you enjoyed this little tutorial. And if you did, uh, then please leave a like if you have learned something. Uh, if you still have questions, do make sure to ask them in the comments down below. And I'll try to answer them as, pr as properly as possible. Anyway, thanks for watching. I'll see you in the next one, guys. Bye!